fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me So guys, welcome back to my channel Today I will be making collard greens Um, so let's get started So first of all, you have to, um Soak your greens because just because they're store bought does not mean that they don't need to be uh, rinsed off. So I have these already pre soaking. So uh, as you can see, um, they're just soaking right here in this pot. People wash them off, you know, because we haven't seen a lot of little bugs or probably dirt from when they picked it. And I don't understand why that'd be up in the packaging. But um, yeah, I'm going to give you a little <laughs> touch of that soap food. So, uh, stay tuned. So, first of all, uh, I had these um, soaking for a while and because I wanted them to get clean because that's what you're supposed to do. So, I'm going to come over here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I have my, you're going to need some salt pork, so I use bacon. So, I'm going to use this bacon to add it to my greens. And I'm going to use, I'm going to cut up onion and um dice the onion so I can put it inside and with this video you might hear me talk but sometimes um probably get a little quiet while I'm cutting the uh these vegetables up these onions up And I'm just cutting all this onion. I don't know why. This came off like that. So I'm going to rinse this off in this water. I'm just going to cut it up like this. And as y'all can see, I love this knife because it has these ridges on it. And you can cut all types of stuff up, lettuce, everything, and it'll come out chopped instead of using a chopper. So I'm just cutting these onions up in slices to put inside my greens. And I'm going to need a second onion because this is not enough onion for me. Just to give it that little flavor. And usually I'll use, I'll add jalapenos, um, the peppers inside my greens, but today I'm not because my kids going to be eating some and they don't like too much hot spicy, but they do like, um, hot sauce and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so these are all diced up, these onions. So I'm going to just show you the ingredients that I will be using, adding it with my, I will use, be using Larry season salt. You can also use um, black pepper. And you can also use um, regular salt, but I'm not going to use too much salt. 
and I'm going to use some of this vinegar to give it a little taste and then I'm going to be adding the bacon so you do need salt pork but I use bacon just to give it a little smoke flavor so that's my secret ingredient but I have other ingredients I'm not going to share with you but um, also I will be adding some oil I don't have olive oil today I'm going to be adding oil to my greens so stay tuned um, and I'll be bringing you back those greens in a pot in a minute the only downfall that I say about these greens is that they have a lot of these inside of them and when we cut up the regular greens that we buy um, not in a purchase in this bag right here um, we don't keep this on there and, and that's the problem they have a lot of this on there so um, that's probably the downfall about this because they cut them up in little pieces and we're trying to get the part right here we don't care about the stem and that's how they cut them up so that's the only thing but um, the greens they're cool I had them before uh, that's the only downfall like you can see them right here like that's just too much because it, it's like it will get um, soft but that it'd be just too many inside the bag so yeah so it's better just to buy the uh, regular if you want to do it like this um, you can buy this kind but I should just buy the ones you could cut up yourself so yeah that's the only thing I have to say about this okay now I'm coming over here to uh, I put uh, the greens already on the um, in the pot and they're just waiting to uh, cook and stuff like that um, I'm gonna let it like boil a little bit before I start adding the seasoning um, to just to give it that little like it's not I just put them on so I want to um, make sure that the water is hot and boiling before I start adding my uh, onion and extra ingredients to this, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, now I'm going to just start adding the ingredients, which I will be adding the onions. Next, I will be adding the bacon. I'll be adding some seasoned salt. I mean some garlic salt and Larry seasoned salt as well. And I'll be doing some white wine vinegar just to add a little vinegar taste to it. And I also will be adding some of this vegetable oil. So, um, I'm going to let this simmer, cook down, and get all them delicious uh, flavors inside of those. So now, I'm about to crack, um, get it cracking on this here chicken. So I'm going to add some oil to this um, pot to preheat my um, oven, I mean my uh, grease for the chicken cause ain't nothing most cracking when it come down to cooking soul food without that fried chicken y'all know what I'm saying that fried chicken so yeah so you know you gotta have a little soul food to that you gotta add a little bit of chicken to that to them greens so yes I'm just gonna pour that much in here because this is like one of them little miniature skillets as you can see so I'm gonna go show you how I batter my chicken and get a little of that uh flavor on there so stay tuned okay y'all so I have all these I'm just gonna show you I do my chicken. I don't add no buttermilk and all that egg and all that. I do the old-fashioned way. When you didn't have all that, you just put uh, a season on there. And that's what I do. I don't put it in no milk, marinade, put it back over there and all that flour stuff. Uh, the, I already rinsed these off. So this is a bag from, I think I got it from Food Co. And um, some of them bags are so huge, the chicken is just big. Like they're putting steroids in the chicken. I don't really understand. 
But, okay, so what I do is, let me move this over for a little bit. Now, to make my chicken taste real good, I always put stuff in the flour, which some of you guys do that already. But I'm going to add a little paprika to that. And I'm just going to do... Um, Spoonful of the paprika, and this is just to give it flavor in the um, flour. And so I'm also I love garlic salt, so I'm gonna add that same thing, a tablespoon of garlic. And I like lemon pepper, so I like to add it to just a little bit of it. You don't want to add no pepper. But I just like a lot of stuff on my chicken. And so I'm going to add some of this seasoning salt as well. And I'll just, I'll just add it and stir it around. So, so what I do, I take a fashion, I just mix it all around for the flavor. And just mix that flour like that. And let me put this to the side. So what I do for this chicken is I'll season the chicken as well. I don't season it too much, but I season it enough to coat it because the flour already have the um, salt and stuff on there. Well, the seasoning on there. And so I'll just add some garlic salt to it. And um, I'll add some black pepper. And I'm trying to find the top, what I need with my paprika so I can um, sprinkle that on there. Oh, I found it right here. So I'll just put a little because hot and spicy. And that's going to marinate just for a little bit. Some people, they put this up in a uh, refrigerator for overnight. No, I do it this way. That's how I like it, and that's what it is. When you got kids, got to get out of school, and they're hungry, and you got time for all that marinade stuff. But you can, if you want to prepare yourself, do it the right way. Hey, go ahead and do to each his own how you cook your food. But I was always taught. Get that chicken on, girl. You got people to feed. Let's go. Let's go get it. Everybody hungry. My kids do not wait. They got to taste this, sample this, do that. Can I taste that? What's that? And all that. So, anyway, this is just five chickens. And so, I'm going to go back over here. And I see right now that my um, greens are now starting to simmer. So, I'm going to go over here and check that out. Okay, see, as you can see, it is simmering down, and those flavors are getting in there real nice, easy, and I have to turn the fire down just a little bit because I don't want it cooking too fast, because as you go, you have to keep adding that water and adding that, you know, that uh, special uh, sauce, but make sure you taste that um, seasoning because sometimes you over salt, salt and that stuff, and you don't want it to be salty when you eat them greens, you want that green greens to be real good with that seasoned flavor of onion and whatever season you put it put up on there so 
Yeah, it's getting it's coming along well. This should cook about two hours, I think greens cook. Uh probably an hour and a half if you know really how long they cook, but uh basically I just let mine just soak down into that soft flavor and you can tell like if you've been cooking greens as much as I have, you'll know when it's done. So so now we're gonna go over here and um this oil has been cooking so i'm going to turn it up just a little bit and i'm going to grab my i'm going to go uh basically grab the uh the chicken and coat it okay so we're back at the chicken and um move this stuff out the way all I'm going to do is dip the chicken in this batter, one by one. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can. So all I do is just dip this inside here. This flour it be getting messy, but it may look messy, but it's good when it's fried. So, as I coat the chicken, I'm gonna carry this chicken over to the skillet of grease. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, I'm going to take this chicken toward the grease after I dry my hands off. Okay, so now I'm going to just bat the chicken off like this to get the excess flour off. Then I'm going to put it in here. Okay guys, this is the other chicken that I coated. 
And um, you can see it like that. It's like a couple more pieces. So I just stack them on top of each other so they won't mess up the flour when I get ready to put them in this the pot. So anyway, I'm gonna go over here and check this chicken because it's look like it's about getting ready to fry right. So I'm gonna turn it over. And now you can see that gorgeous coat. Now you can see how golden brown that is, so that's basically how you take your chicken when it comes out of this. Um, I'm going to show you how it's crispy and all that type of stuff. So stay tuned, and by the way, my greens are still over here, they're cooking, and they're, uh, I stirred them a little bit. So yeah. And you guys, give me some of them likes, because I need some of them likes. Like and subscribe to my channel. And it will be all good. So, yeah. The green just came in down. So, yeah. Chicken got all that flavor in it. You smell in your sauce. You'll be like, oh my God, when I can I have a plate? Can I have a plate today? <laughs> Hurry up. It smells so good in here. Okay, come down back over here to the chicken. Hey guys, see, now, this is the uh, results of the chicken that I just cooked and showed you that I seasoned. So look how crispy that is, and yeah, it's going to be delicious. Um, you can see the texture of the chicken, a little closer, yes, all that. So, what I want to do now, I'm going to add um, this chicken over here to cook the other part of the chicken that I have. And add it to this pot over here. So, and I'm also going to check on the greens again. Okay, as you can see, my greens are cooking real nice and lovely. And, um, yeah, they're all cooking down just the way they're supposed to. Um, so, like I said, they don't take that long to cook greens, but they have to really get tender. And you will want them to tender, taste tender with the uh, season on there. And, um... Yeah, they're cooking real nice. So, here's the um the grease that I was using. Um, so I'm gonna just add this. Excuse me, because my camera kind of like turned off it. So this is the remainder of the chicken. Um, I'll show you when that began as well. It's going to take a while because they're a little thick. So, uh, like I said, I'm still waiting on the greens and stuff to be done. So, stay tuned. Keep watching my channel. down with um this piece of beef in the bed by taking down here I'm 
greens are looking right now. So yeah guys, I turned these over, and this is how big they are, can't you believe that, they are too big, I had to also turn my fan on because of the video, it's too stuffy in here, this is how this chicken is flying. Hey guys, this is the other chicken that just came out, it, it's completely done, uh, my greens are still over here cooking, they're not quite done, they still have to boil down, and so I was just showing you how uh, this chicken, other chicken came out, look how crispy it is, and yeah, I have two more remaining pieces left, and so... This is the result of the chicken. I have the other chicken up here. So, and when we come back, I'm going to show you how my greens is done and how they cook down. And I have it plated for you. So, keep watching. Okay, y'all. So, here got my plate. I have the greens, the cornbread. You know I had to hit up, hit y'all with that good old cornbread with that good sugar. You know what I'm saying? Just stop you up sugar. Not good. But got butter on there. And um, there's my chicken. The greens is still cooking because uh, this is my lunch. And um, really it's for dinner. But I'm going to give me a little taste right about now. But uh, hit your girl up. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah. So here's the final dinner. And I'm eating this right now. So I think it's about 12 o'clock. And these greens, they're still cooking. But I'm hungry, y'all. And I'm about to get in. So let's get it. I'm about to dig in. So look at that. It's good. I'm going to try to bring it to the light. Let y'all see a little bit. So, yes. That's how these greens are looking right now. So, yes. So, thanks for watching. And enjoy your day. God bless you. Stay tuned for the next video. That's what's up. Peace.